guys welcome to automation training center and today we are here for learning about the timer t on t off and rto so let's start this video and one remember thing that is before i'm going to start this video so i would like to request to all guys please like and subscribe my channel for my motivation if you found helpful please share more and more people so that they get does between me and uh, let's uh, start so first is t on that is a timer on delay uh, it means uh, when we start output so it took some time for uh, starting a motor that is timer on when t off it means uh, when uh, we off the switch then after some times output will get off and do last one is rtu rtu is related to uh, t on but uh, one difference is t on and rtu is that uh, when we remove the toggle beat on t on and t off vacuum get reset automatically but in the case of rtu when we remove the toggle beat at that time vacuum will not get reset automatically we have to reset it manually and by reset button so let's start and see how it's work so on a screen we can see this is the input that is the zero input and this is t on this is timer on delay so how we address timer that is the t for Zam zero, we can write one, two, three, four. Like uh, just I am going to write T four, Zam four. So in this way we can write. So this is the one and zero point zero one and zero point double zero one. It means we have to always uh, write preset value that is a multiple of five. So when we uh, take uh, one point zero, it means uh, our one second and when we take 0.01 it means for one second we have to write 50 and in the case of 0 0.001 second at that time for one second we have to write that is the 500 so let's see i just i am giving one and in preset value 10 this is the vacuum this will start from 0 to 10 so if you want to start from 5 so uh, over here we have to write fives then uh, this will count from five to ten that is five so this is the enable beat that is a t40 t40 so over here we have already write uh, we wrote t40 but uh, i changed this one t4 t jam 4 so just i have to change over here uh, t4 jam 4 of like e and this is for enable wait so what is enable wait when we give the input at the time timer will get on so this will show enable wait is on so when enable wait is on our output will get on so let's say i am giving some input and uh, output to the third rung and uh, input and output for fourth rung so this is enable wait but uh, over here i am taking tt wait that is when timer will start count this rung will get on so over here i am taking second dot port that is a one and over here i am taking done bit that is a d and and our output i am taking third output that is a zero o zam zero dot zero oblique two so now i'm going to download and let's see how it's work so just i'm going to download yes click on yes run yes yes so let's see when we give the input accumulate start count and after 10 second done will be gain on get on so when acumen will start count this will get on and th this is enable beat it means timer is enable and this beat is enabled it's me timer has started counting after 10 seconds we can see this will get enable 
and this will get off because timer has counted his count that's why it will get off so just i am removing over here and i am giving again we can see this is the one two three it will go up to uh, 10 and then after this one get off and this one get on so if you want to reset it's automatically then we have to, we have to do we have to take one nc over here and we have to address the this one this one datas from over here in nc then when this one will get on at the same time this one will get off so that when the power supply will disconnect of timer then this will get automatically reset as i already said but the, in the case of r2 this will not happen we have to reset this one by manually so let's see uh t off so just i'm not going to change anything just i'm typing over here t o f that's it we can say timer of delay this will change automatically so it means what when we give the input at the time timer let's see how it works so just i'm going to run this one and uh, we can see i'm giving our input so our uh, input and done bit will done bit uh, is on because uh, this is the off delay it means uh, when we remove the input then it will start count and after 10 seconds motor will get off so let's see i'm just uh, removing over here we can see ttv to it ttv it, uh, is on and uh, done bit is also on enable bit is off because i have uh, removed uh, enable so let's let's see and this is 10 bit 10 after 10 seconds we can see all are off just once again let's see i'm giving toggle beat and uh, i'm removing over here so we can see tt and uh, then it is on so after 10 seconds we can see all the beats are uh, get off so 9 and 10 you can see just uh, i'm going to offline and uh, now we'll see rto tr that is rto just type rto written tip timer on on all the input data will remain same but uh, what we have to do if we want to reset this RTO, we have to choose from over here. This one is a reset. So I am going to choose one another rank. Just I'm not going, going to take again and again off and on. So just I'm going to take uh, another rank that is a TRTO. When we want to reset this one, when this one uh, will complete his journey and it's counting data so after done with this one get complete his work so what which timer want to reset so this one one i want to reset reset t4 so we have to address t4 example now what we have to do we have to download first once we download we have to go run option so just i'm going to run the this program and uh, over here we can see i am giving to the toggle beat so we can see one two three four five just we can see i have uh, removed uh, toggle beat but uh, in acum we can see acum is still on five so i am uh, giving to the toggle beat so we can see is I started from 5 so enable run bit is on so after when it's uh, complete his con this will get on for a fraction of second and get reset automatically because we have already set uh, one button that is the reset button for the RTO timer in the case of T on and T on we can uh, reset by uh, using NC over here after input we can use one nc and address the same this one so we can reset the t on and t off but in the case of rto we have to use 
this button for reset so this one get on it's mean this one get on and this one get on means timer will get reset so in this video we have learned about the t on t off and rto if you have any doubt please comment so that i can review and if uh, i am able to solve then definitely i will solve that problem so if you found helpful please like and subscribe my channel